All right, one of my projects from the 2021 pandemic, or I guess 2020 pandemic, but I did it in 2021, was building this new uh, bookshelf slash uh, pull stick holder um, into my uh, wall down here in my basement area. Um, just kind of started as a traditional door, uh, but I made it into a kind of a uh, I don't know, hid, hidden door slash bookshelf. Uh, I always wanted to do one of these, I don't know why, but I but always found it kind of interesting. And so there's the door, walk up, open it, I'll show you the mechanism later, but it opens up into another, another room, which was formerly a kind of a craft type room, and during this time has become my become my home office uh, and as you can see from this side it remains just a normal normal door normal door handle and basically added the shelf to this to the front of this door um, I guess kind of a simplified way of explaining it is I added to the face of a door this half inch thick piece of plywood attached directly to the door. This is actually a hollow core door. So I had to attach it to the, uh, made sure I attach it to the perimeter. Um, and I think I secured it with a bunch of, bunch of uh, some screws and, and nails and made sure it went into the solid piece um, around the perimeter of the door. Then I built a, basically a box frame out of one it one by six is one by six one by six poplar end up ripping the poplar to the dimension but uh, then I took that frame and I secured that to the plywood using these pocket pockets uh, what do you call it pocket screws pocket hole screws um, then once I did that I built into the shelf this kind of the center the centerpiece and from that point I put a little shelf here that's permanently attached and a shelf down at the bottom where I basically drilled some holes through here put a kind of recess type hole in there to set the uh, pull sticks in the door so they can be moved as such move from the hole and uh, obviously put put back uh, also what I did is I made on this uh, side I use I think as a Craig another Craig jig for making um, removable shelves and so I put my shelves in here have them uh, I can move them shift them up and down um, let's see if I can do this. But then they kind of sit in there. Still think I need to find a better way to secure them so they don't shift when the door is opened and closed. Um, let's see what else I did. Uh, so the way this door works, I'm trying to close it again. As you can see, the, well, let me go back here. This piece of plywood that's to the door, it's recessed just enough so that it sits up against this edge of the, the door. Then the balance of the shelf so you don't it so it's concealed. I actually had to extend the trim around the door so it extends. Uh, you can see by my thumb a little bit beyond the face of the door on that side. A little bit more less so on on this side and so what that does is the face of the shelf is concealed there right there so again it gives it that finished finished look uh well i'll shut it in a second but as you can see also what i did is i added the to the to the poplar I added this small little trim board just kind of gave it more of oops this this board here to kind of give it more of a finished look same in all the shelves, the movable shelves. Uh, so let me close this again so we can see how that 
kind of that comes together there so you can see it closes latch is pretty good and so again you can't uh, so you can't really from this angle it looks completely kind of this finished finished look you can't really tell that it's up against that that trim there's a little bit of a gap but obviously you got to have that but I don't think you'd be any the wiser um, if you didn't know that was opened also I had to add the um, this piece of baseboard molding here obviously it's attached to the door got to leave a little bit of a gap because it passes over the carpet in the other room so I guess that's you know just just how you have to deal with it um, like I said I utilized the same just the, the, the same old hinges, um, so I didn't have to put any sort of specialty hinges on here. Uh, again, not a tremendous amount of weight on here. Um, uh, I guess I had always kind of thought if there was, if if it got too much, I, you know, I probably could add a little wheel down here at the bottom corner of the door to kind of catch the weight and roll in the carpet, but so far, hasn't been a problem. Uh, doesn't, seems to, doesn't drag or seem to be sagging or anything. Um, and so then, and you'll also notice um, here, same old doorknob, um, the same old latching mechanism, so that worked out really well. Um, the way, so my means by getting in here, I'm going to close this again, make sure this thing's... Um, so, again, I'm going to move this shelf out of the way. You can see my mechanism for opening and so what I ended up doing come out is this is just the normal piece of the door um, latch that it, it and again part of this I'm kind of figuring out as I go along but extended just through the the door and I found that the perfect Focus. The perfect thing that worked was a 3 8 inch socket fit over that. So I drilled out the hole large enough so that my socket would fit in there. I bought this little L wrench, nothing special, for kind of, so I don't have to use a permanent. I bought something for that. And it works out like this. Just turn it, and there you go. It opens. Um, I think people wanted to. A little bit of a fancier mechanism like but this maybe I'll get there at some point right now this was simple and it, it, it worked out really well and like I said it's uh, kind of have it concealed with the concealed with the shelf like that um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else but no I'm really pleased how this how this turned out um, so one thing I'll point out is the way this worked, there's a lot of, a lot of these shelves that are, well, not a lot, but I've seen some available kind of commercially, commercially, where you can buy them kind of pre-hung. And actually they're not hung. They actually have a support at the top and a support on the bottom. You'll notice mine is, like I said, I just use their traditional hinges that seem to work really well. Um, but I actually was looking at the other product before because I really like this concept and idea. One of the things I discovered is the other ones are built for a um, built for a, a, a wall that has two by four studs. And actually, so I'm in a basement here, and this has two by six studs. And so the, the, those commercially available options wouldn't work, but um, I think it kind of worked out well because with the two by six, it gives me a lot deeper shelf. So these shelves are about four and a half inches deep. Whereas obviously if I had two by fours, these shelves would only been a couple inches deep. And also what I noticed on some of the commercially available products, I didn't really like the, the back side of the door. It was not as much of a finished look. And so it worked out really well here is I just used a normal, uh, a normal door. Um, I haven't added up the cost. I probably need to add it up, but I think, you know, Probably spent a couple hundred bucks, maybe two, three hundred, three hundred, maybe, maybe a little bit more. I don't, I don't know. Um, I need to double check my numbers and I'll see if I can 
can confirm what they were versus the commercially available products were starting at seven eight hundred dollars you know you could spend a lot more than that um, so really really pleased really pleased how this how this turned out you know kind of the I think it fits the decor of my kind of my bar pool table room um, think about probably paint we're thinking about painting this room I obviously got to paint around the the periphery of this door and I may end up going a different color so there's a lot of time spent on painting this thing but it but I want to match some of the other decor in this area and maybe maybe white wasn't the right color but that's just paint uh, but anyways real pleased how that turned out I guess one thing I still need to do is I want to get some uh, maybe some felt and kind of put down here so you don't scratch up the the pull sticks and also I want to put some sort of caps or something so it's this it's not this unfinished look down here but I'm gonna wait till I get figure out the whole painting uh, situation um, and then I do need to put a little bit more trim down there because when I took off the trim from the door and obviously I had to shift this trim over it left a bit of a gap so I really need to probably replace the baseboard or try to see if I can fit something else in there but I guess all in all I, I think it turned out awesome um, really pleased with it uh, so hope hope you guys like this maybe it inspires you uh, that's it